Welcome uh, Max Blumenthal to FSU. FSU Students for Justice in Palestine welcomed Max Blumenthal, the celebrated journalist and author, on January 13th. Mr. Blumenthal lectured on his latest work and then engaged in a lively debate with students afterwards. Following the discussion, I sat down with Mr. Blumenthal and talked with him about his coverage and continued interest in the Israel-Palestine conflict. In late 2008, I opened a Facebook account for the first time and started reporting on the response in the U.S. You know, I do a lot of video journalism, so I covered a rally in support of the war in Times Square in New York with pro-Israel fanatics telling me on camera that they, Israel had to burn out the cancer. Just these incredibly eliminationist bellicose statements. And people started reaching out to me on Facebook and asking me to visit Israel-Palestine. So I took the, month, the royalties and the advance that I had from my first book and invested it in my first extended reporting trip. And I just started focusing on what it was like on the ground inside Israeli society. That began this kind of journey that led to the creation and publication of this book, Goliath, Life and Loathing in Greater Israel. As a journalist, American, and Jew, Mr. Blumenthal provides a unique perspective on the complex conflict. He frames his work around the violation of Palestinian human rights, which draws both intense praise and criticism. Um, it's my job as a journalist to critique the situation and to expose the facts on the ground and to report the facts on the ground <clears throat> back to the American public, which is my chosen audience. Now, if you've experienced racism or discrimination in the U.S., or even gender discrimination, then you've experienced exclusion, and you have to see Palestinians as the canary in the coal mine. So it needs to be challenged if we're going to honestly challenge any form of discrimination here. Even if you're just campaigning against not having Sabra hummus in your school cafeteria, you create a massive uproar on campus, and then everyone's discussing this issue. There are editorials in the campus paper, There's a, there are protests, and then the local media starts covering what's happening on campus, the national media starts covering it, and you're putting the discussion on the table, so it's very, it's very powerful. For VD9 News, this is Anne-Marie Lindemann.